Here is the uh, lorry delivering a um, rocket to, um, to its launcher and I'd like to attract your attention to the design of this rocket. It has very distinctive design, B caliber with the warhead uh, section having much larger diameter and uh, very uh, distinctive uh, stabilizers at the bottom of the rocket part. Basically that is the rocket of the same type as found in the areas controlled by rebels. And uh, the important uh, additional information about this specific video is that the lorry delivering um, rocket is accompanied by uniformed troops wearing red barrets. It's an important piece, I will come back to it later. Here is the same lorry with the um, rocket already loaded onto the launcher. And as you can see, there is uniformed uh, person wearing a red beret here again. Then the uh, final preparation for uh, firing and uniformed person in red barrets once again. Then actual firing. And I'd like to attract your attention to the fact that the design of the rocket, much larger uh, rocket section, is basically the same as the rocket found later on in the areas controlled by rebels. And this rocket is being fired in the presence of uniformed personnel wearing red barrets. That is important, important detail, keeping in mind that there are three forces in Syria now uh, which uh, have as element of their uniform red barrets. One of them is the Syrian military police. The other is the Republican Guard, the most elite forces directly subordinated to the Syrian president. And the third is Hezbollah fighters who ha also wear red barrets. Here Hezbollah fighters are shown on funerals of their comrade in Lebanon. So altogether that means that once again as in the previous case it might be uh, the case that it is either Syrian troops or their uh, supporters from Hezbollah uh, used these, fired these uh, rockets supposedly carrying chemical weapons uh, because there are no other evidences associating uh, somebody else with that. There are people in uh, wearing red barrets presented at the firing site. The fact that uh, these uh, rockets of unstandard design, these rockets are not standard weapon of the Syrian army, that is the uh, modification made to uh, the existing elements, so that is new. Uh, and the fact that uh, the personnel wearing in uniform wearing red barrets are constantly present at the launch sites of these rockets, which later on found in the areas affected by the chemical uh, attack, uh, leads to the conclusion that it might be the connection between the either Syrian uh, army, Syrian forces themselves, or forces supporting uh, Bashar al-Assad in this conflict, uh, Hezbollah. There, it might be connection between them and use of these uh, rockets, which um, probably delivered chemical uh, agents to the um, areas near Damascus.